Good Thursday evening, June 27th, and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Here are a few of the stories we have coming up for you tonight. U.S. Representative Dan Newhouse announced the passing of two federal grants that would fund significant infrastructure improvements to Pangmore Memorial Airport. A Mattawa woman was arrested on Monday after a traffic stop for expired tabs, which led to the discovery of drugs and other illegal property. Less wind and warmer temperatures over the next couple of days. I'll have all the details in your full local weather forecast coming up. The Wenatchee School District says it's met its target of nearly $9 million in reductions for the 2024-25 school year. The district aimed to save $8.9 million after reductions in staff and operating costs through the closure of Columbia Elementary School, changes to middle schools and high school schedules and other staffing cuts. During a budget update on Tuesday, Superintendent Corey Callahar said the district has realized the majority of the plan, though there was a slight change to the proposed middle school schedule savings. The plan projected $2 million in savings after cutting 20 middle school staff members, but one staff member was added back, making the final savings about $1.9 million. The district estimates it will need to make $3 to $4 million in reductions for the 2025-26 school year. The Wenatchee School District is working with the City of Wenatchee to ensure its students can get to and from school safely. Superintendent Corey Callahar presented some safe route improvement goals for Washington and Lincoln Elementary Schools as they absorb the Columbia population. The district says they're working with Washington to address concerns over their parking lot during pickup and drop off and working to improve safety around Ferry Street for Lincoln students. Updates to Ferry Street include added school zone signs and painted signage on the road in the short term and in the long term the district will apply for grant funding to help facilitate data collection to determine school zone beacon locations. The district will also work with police officers to help with traffic enforcement in the beginning of the school year and school resource officers will have an increased presence before and after school. Yesterday, U.S. Representative Dan Newhouse announced the passing of two federal grants that would fund significant infrastructure improvements to Richland and Pangborn Memorial Airport. The Chelan Douglas Regional Port Authority is set to receive roughly $609,000 for a project to replace Pangborn Airport's rotary snowblower and keep the airport serviceable throughout the winter seasons. The Port of Benton County will receive roughly $766,000 to complete phase two of their runway resealing project at the Richland Airport. The Confederated Tribes of the Colville Reservation closed the deal this week to buy just over 11 acres of Riverside land near Kashmir. Property records show the purchase went through Monday for $970,000. The land along Steinhill Road abuts the Wenatchee River and has largely been operated as orchard. The tribe says it could now become an important spot for salmon fishing on the ancestral land of the Wenatchee Indians who are among the Colville Tribes members. Col Colville Chairman Jared Michael Erickson said, quote, We hope that the Wenatchee will enjoy this land for many generations to come, and we will continue to restore all of our confederated tribes to their homelands. When we come back, the sinkhole at the intersection of 5th and Miller Streets now has a permanent seal, but while conducting the road work, crews discovered further damage. And the Washington State Hospital Association held its 2024 Rural Hospital Leadership Conference on Tuesday and honored two local hospital facilities. I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Family roles change with time. You may find yourself being an unpaid caregiver to a loved one. Caregiving can be rewarding, but also stressful. Taking care of yourself is vital. Aging and Adult Care of Central Washington has low or no cost services for unpaid caregivers, such as in-home support, care supplies, and counseling. Connect in your local area by calling Aging and Adult Care at 800-572-4459 and mention you're interested in caregiver support. 
Coming home should never be a chore. Let Mary Maids of Wenatchee customize all your cleaning needs. Weekly, bi-weekly, special occasion. Do you have a vacation home that needs cleaning? We clean them too. Locally owned and operated, let Mary Maids do the cleaning while you focus on your family and friends. Mary Maids has special offers to fit your budget. Request your free cleaning estimate today. 509-663-1710. Caught in a conflict? Family? Workplace? Neighbor? Business? Housing disputes? Wenatchee Valley Dispute Resolution Center provides mediation services, a cost-effective and efficient way to provide a written resolution to disputes and issues. Plus, we offer mediation training and community education on conflict resolution and communication skills. Contact us to learn more. Welcome to the Columbia Basin Dispute Resolution Center. We are a local nonprofit serving Grand and Adams counties, helping businesses and people resolve difficult issues so they can move toward a better future. We offer help with workplace disputes, residential issues, family matters, and can train your staff in conflict prevention and resolution skills. Call us at 509-237-8401 to learn more. The sinkhole at the intersection of 5th and Miller Streets now has a permanent seal, but while conducting the road work, crews discovered that the stormwater pipe damage runs deeper than it originally appeared. Yesterday, the city of Wenatchee began an emergency repair project to replace a broken stormwater pipe lying under the pavement of 5th Street from Emerson all the way to Chelan Avenue. Deputy Public Works Director Jessica Shaw says the city has entered a contract with Selen Construction. The work will take roughly two to three weeks to complete and is estimated to cost around $432,000. The city of Wenatchee will post traffic detour information on social media once the sewer work commences. A Mattawa woman was arrested on Monday after a traffic stop for expired tabs, which led to the discovery of drugs and other illegal property. 39-year-old Ashley R. Perrin Sandoval was pulled over by Kittitas County Sheriff's deputies around 11 p.m. Monday near Ellensburg for having 2022 tags. Sandoval was arrested for multiple outstanding felony warrants in Grant County. A search warrant for Sandoval's vehicle discovered suspected fentanyl and meth, someone else's credit card, and a counterfeit social security card under a different name. Upon booking Sandoval into the Kittitas County Jail, officers allegedly discovered drugs hidden in a body cavity. The investigation is ongoing as Sandoval was transported to Grant County for her outstanding warrants, but the Kittitas County Sheriff's Office says that she will likely face multiple charges from them once Grant County has concluded their business. The city of Chelan is among recipients of a state grant program to improve its public records system. The local records grant program, administered by Washington Secretary of State Steve Hobbs, handed out more than a half a million dollars this week to 27 local government agencies. Chelan City Clerk's Office will receive $50,000 from that amount to bolster its digital imaging program, scanning old paper records into digital form that's easier to access. City Clerk Perry Terry Gallucci says Chelan has been working to get that imaging project across the finish line since 2017. The Washington State Hospital Association held its 2024 Rural Hospital Leadership Conference at Campbell's Resort on Tuesday and honored two local hospital facilities. Lake Chelan Health was presented with the Rural Quality Everyday Extraordinary Award for its high aggregate quality score. The score measures an organization's quality through multiple performance measures relating to patient satisfaction and care. Columbia Basin Hospital in Afreda was also honored at the conference as part of WSHA's Critical Access Hospital Achievement of Quality Excellence Program. Twelve other small regional hospitals also received that honor throughout the state. 
Coming up next, we will introduce you to Astro the Dog in tonight's feature story from the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. Enjoy light wind and warmer temperatures through Saturday with more wind expected next week. I'll have all the details coming up in your full local weather forecast. That and much more still to come tonight. Please stay with us. Let your voice be heard. I'm former Chelan County Sheriff Brian Burnett, and I'd like to be your District 12 state representative in Olympia. With my extensive experience in law enforcement, I'm eager to serve you to ensure your community and neighborhood public safety. I intend to safeguard and improve your quality of life. I support your private property rights, lowering your tax burden, helping small business to thrive, fiscal responsibility, and your public safety. Paid for by the committee to elect Brian Burnett for state representative. Bring the whole family up to Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house in historic downtown Chelan. Applewood smoked brisket, street style tacos, and our award-winning barbecue rubs and sauces. Our meals pair perfectly with our exciting lineup of craft ales, made right here in Chelan. We've got room for big groups, or give us a call for catering. So grab the kids and check out the fun at Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house located in the heart of Chelan. Now there are even more reasons to meet at the Pibus Market. Outdoor dining and tastings. The fabulous Farmer's Market. Saturday Artisans on the concourse and your favorites all week long. No matter the reason, it's always time to meet at the Pibus Market. Pibus Market, where community meets. Check out clubprocashmere.com for upcoming events and tickets. It's time now for our weekly Pause for Pets feature from the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. Tonight's featured pet is Astro, a five-year-old St. Bernard and Australian Shepherd mix who's partially blind and hard of hearing, but full of affection. Pause for Pets is presented by Alpine Air Heating and Cooling, Merry Maids, Dog House Brewery Leavenworth, and Club Crow Bar and Grill. Hi, I'm Coralie with Wenatchee Valley Humane Society, Animal Care Manager here, and this is Astro. Hi, buddy. Astro is our five-year-old um, St. Bernard, um, we think Australian Shepherd mix. He's a big fluffy boy, <laughs> and he's beautiful. He has this white and black spotted color, and he's got some little polka dots here, and his left ear is all spotted. It's a really beautiful boy. Yeah, you are. And he's just a big fluffy, big fluff monster. <laughs> yes, yes you are. Um, we actually, and we actually had Astro as a little puppy originally. He was adopted from us. And oh my God, his, I looked up his puppy photo and it is ridiculous like a stuffed animal. I swear to God. <laughs> So it's so fun to see what he's grown into. <laughs> yeah, I would not have guessed he would have been this much dog for that adorable little ball of fluff. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Astro came to us um, as an owner surrender uh, because his owner just unfortunately didn't have enough time to be with him. Um, was away on business a lot, um, but he really wanted his boy to have a good home, so we brought him to us um, to show you. And yeah, so what we do know about Astro is um, he lived with other dogs uh, throughout his life, and they got along great. He's a very dog-friendly dog. He likes our dogs here. And um, yeah, he loves going on walks. He's very cuddly, loves being with people. Yeah, you do. Um, oh, we also know uh, he's, he's a little bit blind and a little bit deaf. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of a unique feature, but it doesn't stop him. Yeah, 
he doesn't, I don't think he even really notices. He's just happy all the time. He's just happy with whatever. Yeah, yes you are. We don't know about cats because the owner didn't have any. So we don't have any information on that. He probably wouldn't notice them, honestly. <laughs> but um, yeah, if, if you'd like to come and meet our big fluffy boy, we are open uh, Thursday, Thursday through Tuesday, 12.30 to 6.30. And you can make an appointment on Wednesday if that works better for you. And we would really love you to meet him. Give them a call at 509-662-9577 or visit their website at wenatchehumane.org. Pause for Pets is presented by Alpine Air Heating and Cooling, Merry Maids, Doghouse Brewery Leavenworth, and Club Crow Bar and Grill. Time now to take a look at your North Central Washington weather forecast. Hope you had a great Thursday. We did see a lot of clouds out there today, but less wind and boy, that was a nice relief. But as I mentioned, lots of clouds as we take a look down at the Columbia River from our SkyFi tower camera and that's up near Daroga Park. It's our Waterville camera outside our weather window and you can see Daroga Park right down here and all of those clouds that were around this afternoon. Some scattered sprinkles too and we'll talk Talk more about that in a second, but today it was a cool one. Unofficially, only 73 degrees are high. 82 is where we should be in that hot year of 2021. We were 102 yesterday, 107 the record back in 2021. 57 the mor this morning, exactly where we should be for this time of year. 47 our record cold set in 2012, and we did pick up 15 hundredths of an inch of precipitation yesterday from those scattered thunderstorms that moved through our area. Pangborn Airport did pick up some of that. So now we're at 3.19 inches for the year, which still leaves us about 1.1 inches below where we should be for this time of year. Sunrise was at 506 this morning and it sets tonight at 902. All right, temperatures as we get you into Friday. Boy, you can notice a big jump in temperatures. Most of us five to 10 degrees warmer tomorrow. 81s all over the map. Moses Lake, Afreda, Wenatchee through Eniad and into Chelan. A little warmer up in Omac at 82 and then a little cooler back in our higher elevations. Kashmir at uh, 80 degrees, Leavenworth 79 and Lake Wenatchee high temperature tomorrow of 76. All right, tonight we can expect partly cloudy skies. Most of those clouds will hang up and down the Cascade Range overnight tonight. We will see decreasing wind. It should be a decent overnight with low temperatures into the mid 50s. Getting into the finally Friday, mostly sunny skies, a ridge of high pressure again up and over the Pacific Northwest. Hardly any wind tomorrow. It's going to warm up. We're going to see highs around 80 to 82 degrees for most of us for Friday. Saturday, we will see some clouds move through. These will mainly be high clouds. It's going to be a warmer too as high pressure moves that warmer air up into Washington State, mid to upper 80s for high temperatures on Saturday. And then by Sunday, Sunday, mostly sunny, but guess what? The wind returns to central Washington, especially in the afternoon, not much in the morning. High temperatures in the low, maybe mid 80s on Sunday. And then for Monday, hello, July 1st. It seems like I just had hello June on here not too long ago. It will be breezy in the afternoon again on Monday. High temperatures a little bit cooler, around 80 degrees for Monday. And then get ready for more wind, folks. I hate to say it, Tuesday, sunny more windy conditions right here in central Washington in the afternoon. High temperatures in the low 80s on Tuesday and by the end of our forecast on Wednesday as we move into the middle of next week. Once again, we're going to see plenty of sunshine, but downright windy conditions on Wednesday. It will warm up a little bit too as we see a lot of warm air moving into our area. High temperatures Wednesday moving up into those upper 80s. All right, seven day forecast. 50 54 overnight tonight. These two days, no wind at all. Friday and Saturday. Tomorrow, beautiful. 81 degrees. More clouds for Saturday and 84. And then the breezy conditions move in. Sunday right through Wednesday. Temperatures will stay pretty steady. Sunday through Tuesday, upper 70s to lower 80s. And then a pretty good warm up by Wednesday with windy conditions. High temperature then 87 degrees. 
And that's a look at your North Central Washington weather forecast. Coming up next, tonight's sports report with Eric Grandstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. July typically brings hot temperatures and folks looking to cool off. What better way than some hockey with the Wenatchee Wild? It's fire and ice on the NCW Live channel as we bring you the best wild games from the 23-24 season. Watch Wenatchee beat the likes of Portland, Brandon, Prince Albert, Prince George, as well as Victoria, Spokane, and Kelowna. The first two Saturdays and Sundays in July at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. It's hockey in July with the Wenatchee Wild and the NCW Live channel. Punch your ticket to the playoffs no matter what happens. Wenatchee Apple Sox baseball is back on the NCW Live channel. Tune in Tuesday, July 9th when the Apple Sox face the Edmonton Riverhawks. Coverage is brought to you by our platinum supporter, Alpine Air Heating and Cooling, and our gold supporter, the Town Auto Group. Apple Sox Baseball also brought to you by Apple Valley Honda, Club Crow Bar and Grill, the Chelan Douglas Community Action Council, and AmeriCorps, your television home for Apple Sox Baseball, the NCW Life Channel. And Carson with his first home run. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's why we need you. We need people to run cameras so I can get back down on the broadcast and talk about what's going on. We pay $75 per event. If it's sports, if it's a parade, if it's Apple Blossom, if it's a Super Oval, 75 bucks. If that sounds like some extra good money for you, we'd love you to be part of our team. All you have to do is email me, sports at ncwlife.com. Sports at ncwlife.com. In the meantime, I gotta go figure out this camera. And a good Thursday to you. Well, we can't quite figure out who the Mariners are at this point of the season. They win 6-7 at home. They sweep the Texas Rangers as the defending World Series champions. Then they go on the road. They lose 2-3. They lose 2-3. They lose 2-3. But at least they finished the road trip yesterday on a positive note with a victory over the Tampa Bay Rays. 5-2 was the final. Actually, the Mariners fell behind early. Cal Raleigh came through with a big home run. And despite an interesting ninth inning, they'd Hold on for the win and finish that road trip three and six. Ground ball, that's going to be grabbed. Nobody covering first, a race to the back, safe, and here comes the run in the score, head first, Caballero across the plate, and the Rays take a one nothing lead. Wow. And How about that? What was Ty France doing? You know, that was a chopper that George Kirby was clearly going to glove. And there's no one at the back. Now he's well off the bag. He goes for, well, he went for the ball. Kirby got it. Take a look where Caballero was. And he never stops. Caballero goes. Pitch taken. First strike. Thrown on the second. Got him. Nice tag by Ryan Bliss. A great throw by Mitch Garver. Fine execution right there. The shutdown Tampa Bay here in the fifth. Nicely done all around. Swing and drive. There it goes. Way have the lead. Big Cal with a home run. His ninth is a left-hander. 14th overall. Takes his RBI cap of 49. Hey now! So many times if you need something clutch to happen. Amen, brother. Cal is right there in the middle of it. In her half, 422 feet. 2-2 two two to JP. Slicing drive. Get up. Yeah, it does. Garver scores and flying right behind him is Canzone. Two run, two out, single. J.P. Crawford. Ground ball, right side. They get one at second, throw to first. Not in time there. A run scores to make it 5-2. Two. two balls, two strikes, two on, one out. Tony deals. Ground ball, here we go. Six, four, three, rack em. Mariners win this game. Seattle's returning home tomorrow to begin a weekend series at T-Mobile Park against Minnesota. That starts at 640 on Route Sports Northwest. Well, while the Mariners were winning, Houston also finished a sweep of Colorado yesterday, 7-1. That keeps the Astros four and a half games behind Seattle in the American League West. Texas fell to Milwaukee 6-5 in 10 innings. The Rangers are now seven and a half games back. Angels beat the A's once again, this time by a final of 5-2. The 
The Wenatchee Apple Sox completed a three-game sweep of Kelowna last night with a big 14-7 victory. Once again, Wenatchee had to come from behind with the Falcons taking the lead early. Sox tied it up in the bottom of the second and then took the lead for good on Max Hartman's first home run of the season. Joel Norman had the call on Sunny FM, which was tied into the stream online on Pixelot TV. Max Hartman attacks the first pitch he sees, sends this ball out to right field, and it's gone! Get out of town, Max Hartman! A two-run homer to put one at you in the lead. It's a three-run bottom of the second inning on Mad Max's first long ball of the summer. And the pitch. Swung on and floated into center field. It will drop down for a base hit. Perry comes in to score. It's six to three Sox. Seven to four Sox. They bat in the bottom of the fourth. Doherty takes off. It's a hit and run and it's executed perfectly. A base hit into right field. Easily into score Gonzalez. Doherty keeps running and he ends up at third. It's eight to four Wenatchee in the fourth inning. 2-2 pitch, roped into center field. It's the fourth hit of the night for Palayo. Benavidez waved around from third. He will score. Elijah Palayo is four for four as he drives in the Apple Sox 12th run of the game. Along with two runs scored. 2-0, roped to right field. He's driven in a third run. It's a base hit to bring home Friedberg. And the 2-0. Swung on and chopped. First base side just past the mound. Gonzalez charges, tosses it over toward Cloyd, and that's your game. The Apple Sox sweep away the Kelowna Falcons. Hartman finished with four runs driven in, while Roberto Gonzalez was four for five with two runs and three RBI. Garrett Ahern pitched five innings of four-run ball for the victory. Wenatchee begins an all-important series in Bellingham against the Bells and with the first of the uh, well, the first half title of the WCL's North Division on the line Friday. That game at 6:35. Bellingham doubled up Edmonton last night to Joe Martin Field eight to four. Kamloops nipped Nanaimo eight five. Corvallis split a twin bill with Cowlitz, winning the uh, seven. Uh, uh, inning opener 7-4, then the Bears took the nightcap 2-zip. Yakima Valley edged Portland 4-3, Ridgefield beat Bend 3-2, Walla Walla sprung Springfield 9-3, Victoria pummeled Port Angeles 11-3. Wenatchee's lead in the WCL North is by a game and a half over Edmonton heading into the weekend. Bellingham is two and a half games back, so it could all take to Sunday and that final game of the first half of the season. To determine the first half champ. Corvallis claimed the WCL South first half title before the weekend even begins. Portland is second and Bend is third. Each first half winners, by the way, of the North and South receive an automatic berth to the postseason playoffs. Well, the Wenatchee Wild is preparing for its second season in the WHL and released their schedule this week. Wild broadcaster Austin Drade joined Dan Koontz on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley yesterday, saying several of the fan favorite promotions will be back. Most of the promotional dates have been picked. Uh, we're still working out a lot of the details, but if you go to our website, uh, you click on the 2024-25 promotional schedule, you'll see uh, some of those themes laid out for you and, uh, and what dates uh, we picked for those. But Guns and Hoses is back. Hockey Fights Cancer will be back. Uh, military Appreciation Night. We always do uh, David's Camp Out the week before and then uh, the Jersey Auction that night. That one will be back as well. And uh, we've got our, uh, our fantastic Fan Alley that will be our last home game. Our uh, 509 night, we celebrate the business community here in... Uh, Isn't that usually opening night? That's opening night. Good. That's yep. back again this year. And uh, our more cowbell giveaway for our uh, second home game of the year, that'll be back this year as well. So we're, we're looking at six, potentially eight, especially big nights in a schedule that uh, we're... We're really looking forward to. We had 3,000 a game last year, and uh, we've got an even more favorable schedule this year. So our goal is to bump that up even higher this season. Wenatchee begins the season September 21st at home against the Seattle Thunderbirds. You can see the home schedule on our website at ncwlife.com. For tickets and more information about the Wild schedule, go to WenatcheeWildHockey.com. That's a look at Sports News. I'm Eric Grandstrom. Have a happy Thursday. On Friday's edition of Wake Up in Anchee Valley, after a long stretch of 16 games in 16 days, they had Thursday off, and the Wenatchee Apple Sox can clinch the first half division title in the WCL North if they do what this weekend, Joel? If the simplest path to do it is to win twice. There are those scenarios where the Apple Sox can win the first half title this weekend otherwise, but you win twice, you've got it locked up, and hey, hopefully we can talk about selling playoff tickets next week. Heads up, Wenatchee Valley. We got a pretty damn good baseball team right here. The call to Wenatchee Apple Sox, Joel Norman, on tomorrow's edition of Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. 
And that will do it for our newscast tonight. For more news from around North Central Washington, you can find us at ncwlife.com, on our social media channels, or on our mobile app for iPhone and Android. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. Email us at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks so much for being with us and have a great night. Tune in Monday through Friday at 5, 6, and 10 for the NCW Life Evening News or go to our website at ncwlife.com or you can visit us on Facebook. North Central Washington, the NCW Life Channel has you covered.